Well, here we go. That's my favourite pendant. Now, you get to see messy me without makeup. Very raw, very real. Um, yeah. So, why am I making this video today? Well, I've come to a pretty close milestone now. I mean, I'm about to find out um, to what extent I'll be able to um, complete my goals. Um, I'm very, very certain there's no, no problem with the um, getting the SRS. That's that's not even a, a no. I mean, it's very, very not a guaranteed 120% about. But um, I have a couple of little goals I'd like to fix. One is a no, it's because it will um, dramatically improve my sound of my voice. Because <laughs> I'm very drony up in here. That's why you get a deep tone. Um, what else? Maybe get the ugly teeth fixed up. <sighs> so we'll see. One one of those two I'm, I'm really hoping to do. Um, Everything has been paid for. It's just it's only basically the operation, the extras now, which I have to pay for. Um, during the transition stage, I've been paying for each point, each, each section as it comes. When the problem arises, I attack it and I've hit it and accomplished it. That's just me. That's my quirky nature. It's how um, I've done everything in my life and all my stuff I've done. <laughs> I mean, you know, <laughs> wow. <well, I, laughs> If I could sit here, there would be enough YouTube time to tell you exactly what I've done in my life. And that's not flying my own flag, it's just being truthful. Um, that's why it's done in so many segments. What else is happening? Um, I'm going completely by myself now. I mean, I was going with someone, but uh, everything has its time. Everybody comes into your life for a reason or a purpose, either for enlightenment, to help you, or to... Um, teach you something, maybe. Uh, that's probably a good way of putting it. I'll cover those three points. It's not really fancy, but hey. Um, myself, I've been very, very honest, very truthful, and very open how I've been doing things, why I've been doing them, what stage I'm up to during my transition. Um, being very, very honest towards you guys, maybe in a little bit quirkier way than most girls do, and maybe in a deeper voice, but hey, that's me. Um, what else can I say? Um, <laughs> I keep losing track. It must be the hormone shit. Um, so, you know, and people come into your life. And so far, I've had a few come in, and a few come out, and a few come back in again, and a few go out. But I only use it against the like, <laughs> I'm not being that I'm perfect or, un or, you know, I fit in any box or anything, but I have a rule, and I adopt that rule, and I keep that rule. And it's a very simple one. Three strikes and you're out. And I'm not going to waste my time ever again. I mean, you just can't. I mean, if you can't trust someone and they three occasions, they um, break their word, mislead you, or um, hurt you in some way or in some form, maybe not physically, it may be morally, it may be feelings, it may be moods, it may be... Um, misleading you and it's caused you to have that feeling <laughs> whatever but three, three strikes and you're out and it's just how I am I don't waste my time anymore I mean uh, my, my old lifestyle I would you know I wouldn't it would just be like daughter, water off a duck's back in many respects but um, this lifestyle I just don't do it period I mean this is this is me this is real me and this is life um, it's not going to be corrupted with stupidity, idiots, thieves, um, dishonest, misleading people. Um, it's a life where I'm having true, honest, genuine friends, genuine people in my life either care for me, either as in my well-being, or um, as a friend, or who I care about. Um, so that's that's what this is all about. You know, it's like. Um, you can only take so much, you're gonna be hurt or misled or deceived by others. And even within your, want to call it, your own gender, um, either within the transgender community maybe, if you're a transgender person, or just in the um, 
life period and it's not a normal community I mean we're all normal <laughs> well yeah very broad spectrum normal <laughs> um, so so we are on track we are down now to approximately 49 days or seven weeks roughly to the day that uh, either I'm boarding the plane or I'm on the table which is a uh, January 26 Australia day which you all know I have told you all <laughs> it's gonna happen <laughs> You know what's really funny is like everything I've done in my life, um, basically in over well, it's over twenty years has been when people have said to me, "I can't, I won't, you will not, or you never can." And it's it's sorry, it's fucking funny because you know every time they've done that to me or said it to me, fate has given me the opportunity to um, break that myth, destroy that belief they had. Or they, they, you know, in my make them make their own words, and this is just one of those other occasions. This is done for me. It's not done as a goal or a challenge or a, a debt to anyone else. This is being honest to myself and honouring my own word, which I gave to myself was that by the time I'm 50 years of age, I can do it. I will do it somehow, some way, and I'm honouring my word. Um, so when I got to my 47th birthday, I thought it was, hang on, I've really only got three years to do this. <laughs> um, I think I better get my act together. <laughs> so that's why everything just went suddenly bang, really quick. So I gave, um, I gave myself two years. And my goal was to, within two years of starting HRT, HRT hormonal therapy, um, that I'd be fully transitioned and I'd have, and I'd have my SRS. So my 50th birthday, I will um, basically start my life really fully um, with all its little bits of complications and its uh, daily routines. Because <laughs> a transgender's got life is can be amazing, um, but it does have its um, baggage. Is the easy way, not baggage, but it's just what you have to do to maintain a healthy life. Um, so yeah, so that's really coming on. <laughs> um, what else can I say? Um, if Thursday goes, by Thursday I should know totally where I'm up to, what's going to happen. Um, I can plan any last little minute things which I need to maybe do. Um, but other than that, everything else is set in stone really. The hotel, the air flares, the air, airplane, the surgery date, doctors, hospitals. Um, I haven't left any on unchecked or unbooked now, so, or double checked and triple checked and quadruple checked in some cases. Um, I really must thank um, some some of the girls out there, I mean, besides the ones who try to let me down or have tried to be bitches and think they're heroes or try and criticise me or try to, you know, suppress me in some way, which just cannot happen, I mean, <laughs> Before you go after this bitch here, you better know what you're fighting or challenging. <laughs> yeah. Um, besides those people anyway, the uh, ones which have been the biggest critics or nastiness or um, and whatever, I must really, really thank a um, certain amount of girls, certain people who have been in my transition time and have been of um, great value in friendship, uh, honesty and advice. Um, one of them is a lady named Melissa Starr, um, she has been a brilliant help, I mean, you know, we all have our differences, but she has been really cool, and honest and truthful and sincere. Another one is um, Karen Thomas from uh, the United States, she works for, a, um, well, she helps out with Dr. Sherman, who's a very good specialist as well in uh, sexual reassignment and facial surgery. I must thank her because she has given me some really good helpful hints. <laughs> And she's very, very cool. I mean, there's so many girls out there. There's, I mean, even there's even some friends of mine who teach TV, which is trans transvestite. This is way of putting it. I mean, or borderline between transgender and transvestite because it's a pretty, it's pretty grey areas. I mean, um, it's only a matter of hormones, really, and and permanent body modification, which separates the two. Also, it also can deal with sex as well. I mean that's definitely there's more there's more variance in the sex side of it than there is in 
the other parts of life. I mean, a transgender person usually doesn't change their sex, as in what they prefer to have sex with. That really doesn't change very much. It may a little bit, but not much. Where a transverse type person basically is a person who takes on a persona or a character of the opposite gender, and um, whether they believe it or not, it's, it's their choice. It's uh, no one can judge that person. Um, but they adopt that gender and every role within that gender. So there is a difference, a big difference. Um, what else can we cover in this interview, this little clip? We could quite a few things. So, you know, um, so the variance is very, very big. Um, I've got to thank some amazing girls who have been um, amazing, amazing in their, their art, their... Um, the character, the, what they share, how they share it. I mean, wow. I mean, I'm I'm pretty open and pretty straightforward. These girls are very much um, like me in that way. They may not be in the makeup and the glam or whatever, but in other ways, they're very much like myself. They just say what they've got to say and say it how they need. And too bad we don't like it. So I've got to thank Jennifer over in. Uh, UK. She's a really cool chick. Oh God, I'd love to get drunk with her one day. Um, got to thank Ellie. I mean, Ellie Burns is just uh, a, a cool chick. She had unra outrageous clothes, beautiful clothes, fantastic. And I've got, I've definitely got to thank Jennifer, Jenna, uh, sorry, Jesse Fontaine, or Fontaine, F A N T O. <laughs> um, you'll find her on YouTube. Um, she's been really cool. I mean, you might see her as uh, an entertainer or whatever, but I see her as a friend because we've had communications together. And so, and she's been inspiring um, for her openness and forwardness. Um, you know, every one of these girls, even the girls on YouTube who I've watched over the years or over the last two years, have all um, helped in some way. Whether it's been um, listening to their story and how they cope with it, or or just what they are doing in their life and how it's affecting them. Um, I should really listen to them better about the voice, <laughs> but I don't. Uh, just a lazy pitch, simple as that. Um, but yeah, so you know, there's, there's a lot of amazing people out there who can give you advice, help you, and um, ins yeah, they just inspire you, simple as that. I mean, that's what they are. They're, 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 they're a group of inspiring women. Um, you know, there's from people who are active for their rights and for gender, transgender people, like Sally Goldborn, um, you know, like Stephanie Dixon in, in, New, in um, New Zealand. There is so many women out there, transgender women or women, whatever whatever title you want to put in on I don't have my own, they're, they're just beautiful women, um, are out there fighting for the rights, the causes, or their beliefs, or are sincerely helping people to complete their journeys in the stages of transition. Transition is a life thing, it's not just sex change and you finish it. <laughs> yeah, we wish. <laughs> we wish it was that easy. What? I've taken now approximately um, three and a half thousand tablets for HRT, which is hormones, in over 22 months. Um, you know, if it was that easy, just have an injection or whatever, it'd be so cool, so much, just like, wow. I mean, I never used to take tablets, period, prior to HRT. I mean, I wouldn't even take an aspirin. be lucky if I ever took a disprin. My doctor used to write out scripts and I'd just stick them on my table and never took them out. So <laughs> when I took on this commitment, he was very, very amazed that I actually took the tablets, <laughs> which I do religiously. And um, then I'd have been a bit lazy. This is um, Provenoga. Provenoga. And this is the uh, female estrogen. Little blue tablets. They, they're really cool. I mean, they've, they've been a great effect on, the, on my body. Hard to build up the hormone level. I mean, you know, that was a challenge trying to get the female hormone levels up. I mean, I must have been over, over to their strength levels or <laughs> something because they're. Um, yeah, it did work very well for a while, but it did as soon as I changed to um, change from spiralactin to Andica, and then that had a major, yeah, mate, that that gave the body a good kick. Um, in the sense, it changed it. it hasn't changed the voice. 
I wish. Um, so, what else can I cover? I can't cover much more. I'm, I'm very happy in many, many respects. Um, in many respects, I'm very happy. Um, still have a, just a couple of little minor um, hiccups or concerns, but they should finish in the next two days. I um, say by the 6th of December, that's um, Australia time. Um, I'm either going to be a very, 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 very happy, happy girl woman, or I'm going to be sitting here going, oh no, help, help, help. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I'll be the other way. Um, and that brings up to another different realm of things as well, because as each um, stage of my transition has happened, I've, um, because I've been very, very public, I've brought different characteristics into my public image. I mean, yeah, that's the easiest way to put it. I mean, I am a woman, and I don't, and you can't argue with me out of it, just simple as that, but um, I've kept parts of my character or image hidden still, that's this way, yeah. Um, hidden until like they're, they're like my little minor rewards. If I can reach my goal within myself or what I've challenged myself to complete, as in like you know, first year transition, eighteen months of transition of hormones, um, getting my letter, um, getting the passports, and those things all you know, As it's gone along, I've allowed I've allowed myself the joy and the pleasure of being more feminine out in public. That's the easy way. Because that's been my little strive, my little, you know, if you want it, you've got to do this. If you want to get this, do this, you've got to do that. And so, yeah, that's my little inspiration. I need that because I, I was like, no, I was about to just get lazy. Um, the hormones are up. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a terrible hate of it. What else can I tell you? Um, I'll do it again. That's it. That's all I can tell you. Um, you know my departure dates, and you know my surgery dates. Um, if you're a, a person who's has Facebook access, well, you know, you might think my um, page was private, but it was only private for a short period of time because I needed to sort things out. Um, I wanted to find out a bit of information, and it all came to light. So, um, my page is public. It's um, going to stay public, um, whether the haters hate it or the lovers like it or the other people like it, I don't really care. Um, I also am planning to have my, um, I'm going to try out the YouTube live, uh, maybe before I leave Australia, but when I'm over in Thailand, so I'm hopefully going to be on YouTube live. Um, the only part I probably won't be online for would be the operation. <laughs> Just a little bit hard to manage that part. <laughs> Even though I'd love it to be filmed, I really would. Um, that would be my own personal great memory I'd love to keep. Um, my mum made a cracker joke today. She said, what, you think you're going to bring it home in a jar and pickle it on and leave it on the counter? I said, no. <laughs> oh, my mum, she's funny sometimes. But yeah. But I definitely would love the, the filming of it. I mean, it's just me. Blood and guts doesn't bother me too much at all. Um, and it would be my little, I don't know, what, what should I both be born? <laughs> so, yeah, I might have a sick head. Too bad. Get over it. <laughs> um, so, everything's going well. Everything's going great. Uh, there's not much I can tell you now anymore. Um, as each stage comes about, I mean, as I've told you so much over these few videos, um, you knew about Harriet having the babies, well, they've all been, um, selected by owners, no? or new mum and daddies, and kids, and there's Tiny, there's Atom, and there's, um, Jacko, no, Harry, sorry, Harry and Brutus, no, what is it, hang on, I got that wrong, it's Tiny, Atom, Harry, Oh, Patch. Yeah, that's the four names of the puppies. And they've just, well, they just opened their eyes. So, um, three, it's funny because that two weeks before I leave, I have to give them all away. So that's going to be really hard because 
I mean, I'm getting really, really attached to these guys. Um, they were born in my, well, I'm not in my bed, but on my bed next to my head. I mean, I was watching being born, so I've really got a fond and strong attraction to them. Um, so that's going to be sad watching them go, but it'll be happy that they're, they're going to homes. They're, they're not going to be owned. They're going to be wanted and loved. I mean, I didn't charge... For, any money for these dogs or these puppies. I mean, uh, the only criteria or, or um, condition I put on it was you give me the money, I get their needles for parvo and worm them, and then you can have them, and that's it. So it's basically the only requirement they would have to do it anyway if I gave it to them, but I'm just making sure my own peace of mind that that's done so they're going to have at least, well, <laughs> hopefully longer life, but at least, you know, 12 months of grace about having parvo. Parvo is really nasty dog disease. <coughs> So, what else can I tell you? Um, nothing much except I've got to get this voice somehow corrected. And I believe it will be the nose. I mean, if I can get my nose corrected in Thailand, I think I'll be able to change the tone of the nose. I change the tone of my voice a bit more. And, yeah, so things will change. And it's going to be a big, a big change. I mean... I can't be any in the, any illusion of the impact of what it may have in my life or um, people around me. I mean, it is a major change, it's major surgery. It might be cosmetic in some countries, but it's major. When you go under surgery, go under the knife for more than three and a half hours or three and a half hours, that's that's <laughs> that's major surgery. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so that's it. So we now we're basically on the countdown. We may do a couple of more. Well, we, we will definitely do at least two more, maybe three more videos before I go live from Thailand, from YouTube, because I'll take a laptop with me over. Um, one of those occasions will be probably this week, um, when the last missing piece of the puzzle goes in place. Um, the time after that where I may make a video would be around probably the... Oh, the late month, the late, the late part of January, um, yeah, the late part of January, when I plan to have a, my own celebration, um, a few friends may come over, I hope they do, it'd be cool, I know, I know a couple of my young, beautiful little friends will, so that's even better, because they're a scream, they're a great mob kids, well, they're not kids, that's wrong, the young adults, it's as simple as that, um, yeah, so that should be a scream. It should be a really good party. And I've even nicknamed it. It's the uh, a goodbye dick and penis and hello vagina fanny party. <laughs> no, no, it's welcome. Well, no, goodbye dick and penis and welcome hello fanny vagina party. <laughs> it's the title. Yeah, uh, well, I'm sick. Too bad. <laughs> I'm honest and I'm real. You can't handle it. It's not my problem. And, yeah, so I've covered everything now. We will see you in the next couple of videos I'll be doing for you, and then um, it'll be bon voyage for Thailand and completion of the stage, which, wow, yeah, that, that does bring tears to my eyes. It starts to go, yeah, so let's go. Let's go now before I do it, because it's, yeah, it's a very happy subject for me. So goodbye, love you. Take care, and see you soon. See you in the future. And, um... I might have bloom, might have been blossoming, but uh, I'm definitely going to be blooming soon. <laughs> it's an easy way of putting it. Yeah, things won't be looking exactly as you see them now. They'll change. So, goodbye. Be good.